How's it been so far being here? Good. Uh, I've experienced the hotel and the practice facility, and uh, that's about it so far. So no, no time in the city at all? Uh, no, I, not really. Uh, I spent one day downtown at a collision conference, and uh, another day actually checked out Jazz Fest. So beyond that, though, I'm pretty got my path down straight. So what did you think of Jazz Fest? That was neat. Uh, thankfully, I didn't get rained out. Um, and so I got to see Lauren Hill, and it was a, it was a cool show. So, so you went on a sunny weekend, not the monsoon yeah, yeah, right. weekend? Well, I think I went the day before the flooding. So so when, when a guy signs a, a big money deal, do you approach it any different? You know, some guys kind of put pressure on themselves to be all that. And, I, don't, I don't think so. I mean, I, I think something has worked well enough to get me here. Um, and so hopefully I can con continue to build on that. You know, Kobe, what's the um, familiarity learning process been like you, for you so far? Uh, it's been good. I mean, I, there's a lot of stuff in the playbook that I am familiar with, um, but there's a lot of learning to do as well. Um, and so it's kind of a matter of just making myself flashcards and, and memorization and, and learning it. You know, Coach Payton always talks about the vision they have for a guy. Obviously, they've explained what they have for you, how exciting is it, or how much are you looking forward to the vision they have for you. Yeah, I mean, I, I haven't had that specific conversation with Coach Payton. Um, you know, I mean, I think he said a lot of nice things about me, probably unwarranted, but uh, I'll take it. And, um, you know, I, I think from here it's about me being able to prove it on the field and practice. I know that obviously you spent a lot of time from college to the pros. Was this an easy or a hard decision when you had the opportunity zone and come try something new uh it, it's both you know uh you're leaving friends that you've made and it's just like anybody else moving um but it's also exciting you know i get to play with an awesome quarterback an outstanding offense um and a great organization so i'm excited everybody around here kind of as jimmy graham is the gold standard people are kind of expecting some of those things from you is that fair or unfair Oh, I don't. I don't know. That's not for me to decide. I mean, I can't control other people's expectations. But um, I mean, Jimmy's an outstanding player, and uh, I'd be happy to have that big of a contribution to the offense. What are your expectations for yourself? I guess. Uh, at this point, I'm just trying to learn the playbook. Uh, so my expectation is to learn the playbook, uh, and beyond that, you know, make sure that uh, everything's full go, ready for camp. Has Drew been helpful in that process? Have you? Done a lot with him, or not really? He's been yeah. in and out of town. Yeah, time. no. I mean, we're, we're together every day. Um, Lifting weights, running, uh, trying to learn the playbook and all that. When you, you go to the decision of picking the team, how much would you put Breeze on there? Like 80, 90% of the reason you picked the Saints? Uh, I mean, I think quarterback factors into it. And um, in my mind, the, the, there is no better quarterback than Drew Breeze. Um, and so in, in that regard, it was an easy, easy decision. Thanks. 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 Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks.